morning. Good morning, guys. Sorry, TQ, I was itching my ear and you said that kind of startled me a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we have a barn burner this week in Ohio. Another one, I should say. It's been really hot here the last few weeks, but uh, the lawns are starting to get a little iffy. We've uh, passed on quite a few this morning already. Yeah. So it's going to be... Got, we got other stuff to maintain so yeah believe it or not tyler said where he lives at they got hammered with rain yesterday and we heard it we just didn't get anything in our area yeah. but uh it is what it is we'll do what we can and get some work done huh yep let's get to work let's go been using this saw blade a lot more for the thicker stuff the stuff that just eats line up and guys honestly the nice thing about it is it does not sling anything all over you whatsoever it's very clean as you can tell right there i got nothing on me requested me to show the grandstand the multi course on a slope and simply most of the time when we're doing slopes we just knock them out real quick and we don't think to film them so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on this one real quick basically it's with any grand any stand on mower you're going to just want to shift your weight and that's going to give you the best ability on any hill now I suggest you to stay off of anything you're not comfortable with you know these mowers can tip even the stand ons can tip so just be very careful quick tip here for you guys anytime you're mowing any kind of hill you're going to want to turn into the hill as i'm about to point right here real quick see i'm pointing turn into the hill because if you try to start at the top and turn to go down the hill you're going to go for a little ride and it doesn't matter which stand on you're on if the ground's a little bit wet like this is you're going to go on down the hill i'm just letting you know now turn into the hill and work your way up Boo. 
So anytime things are drying out, like we're not gonna mow the field, we're gonna go above and beyond, hit the beds. We do have a fall cleanup here scheduled as well where everything will be hedge trimmed. But uh, yeah, just uh, supplement things, guys. If there's things there to be supplemented, uh, to continue the work, especially we went ahead and mowed this. It still needed mowed. But the field out there where there's no trees, no shade from the building, anything like that, it's, uh, it's getting pretty bad. So we're gonna let it go. bumper sticker it says help dad farted and we can't get out <laughs> that's funny all right guys so work got cut short today a lot of stuff's just burned up and we're not gonna press it so i'm gonna pivot and go truck shop third dealership here so far that i've been to all different brands i'm at a ford dealership now here in alliance this is Sharshoni of lincoln Plenty of F-150s, just no 250s as of now. Uh, and that is on every single lot. Chevy 2500s, 3500s, Dodges, all of the above. So they had one gray one over here sitting and it's already spoken for. And other than that, I mean, you got a lot of F-150s. I like that color though. It's like a, I don't know, a gunmetal gray or something. I don't even know. Found some 2500 Dodges. Got a 2500 Ford back here. Gonna take a look at it real quick. Gotta look when you see them. This looks like maybe an 18, I'm assuming. Yep, 18. Heavy duty, 6.4 liter. I don't know if it's open or not. Nope, it's locked up. Got a little dent right there. Got a backup camera. Got this baby all locked up. Spray and bed liner, 79,000 miles. Uh, not horrible but i bet with 79,000, i bet it's probably still close to 40,000, probably 45 maybe this one is a 14 so two years older than mine 350 oh they got it all ripped apart what the heck is going on it's a top piece up there it's not a good sign when you see things ripped apart yeah this truck's got some oh uh, what the heck Oh yeah, this truck has been put through it, son. Dents all over. I mean, still wouldn't be a bad little work truck though, if you get it for the right number. Man, what the heck did they do to this thing? I have no clue. No number on it as well, where's the miles? 64,000 miles. It's got half the miles as my truck and <laughs> looks about 10 years older. I'll have to uh, call them real quick. I'm not even gonna walk in. Here's a 2500 Dodge as well. What do you guys think about Dodges? I mean, it, it's, got some, it's got some beat up here. The biggest thing with Dodges in our area his defenders always i mean these things will be gone in like two to three years after living here but it feel like our luck's changing a little bit yeah this baby's got some rust yeah 
see the mile, 73,000 miles, 5.7. I've just heard, I've heard mixed things about Dodges with plowing, you know, with the front ends, the way they are and everything. Take a look here real quick. There's a 3,500. There we go, there we go. Let's take a look at this one. Take a look at this 35 first. Big dually. Seventeen. Locked or unlocked? Eh. I'd have to uh, probably get rid of that window tent. Oh, it's a tow truck. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Let's look at this other one over here real quick. Toyota. Think they're hiding some rust under here? Let's take a peek. You guys tell me. Have a look under there. Yeah, it feels like there's some there maybe. I can't tell, can't tell. We'll have to watch the video when we get home. 16. So the 16s, I believe in the 250s were still the steel body. Yeah, steel body. So they don't have the uh, aluminum body just yet. 17, they went to the aluminum body. Here's a regular cab, 2,500. I wish they put their numbers on them. It's fairly clean. Seventeen. Got the mileage on it? Nope. We got a water sitting in a bed. First thing you do is get rid of those plastic liners whenever you get them. Get it sprayed and then maybe put the plastic liner back in. There's a black 250. See what the miles are on this baby. 41. It is a what year is it? 2020. Okay, it was right up there at the top. So not a bad looking truck. 2020. Somebody put 40,000 on it in a year. Orange 3500. I'd definitely be seen, huh? <laughs> oh, just kidding. I can't drive all. Yeah, see you right here, guys sold already that's what happens you walk in and you think like oh you know i want to want to check out that red truck and then you get in there and they're like nah it's already bought paid for you're like what 1500 1500 i wanted to look at this big white one down here it's really nice i'm not gonna buy it i'm not interested in it whatsoever but it's a nice one It's a clean looking truck. Look at that baby. Nice. Turn it. Oh, I'm stocking Tyler. You getting a truck? Tyler's looking for a new truck too. They have a store in, I think he said Damascus, Ohio. They have four cars on the entire lot. So that's crazy. Obviously this is a little bit bigger store. Uh, he said, if you want to buy something new here right now, they have about four or five different things you could buy. No trucks whatsoever, brand new. That F-150 is nice, but man, you should have just got a 250 at that point. Uh, we're going to continue on here. I've been to seven dealerships so far, only filmed at a few, I believe. And that's mainly because most of them don't have anything to look at, guys. So the uh, salesman was also telling me uh, the heads up there at Chevy or whatever, and now they're ripping the new HD radios out, taking the chips to finish the trucks, and then just putting regular, like the basic model radios into them. It's that crazy, guys, literally. Like you have to understand too, this isn't really being put out there, the shortages on everything. Uh, like I just went to Starbucks and got a coffee. 
literally they had a list of 30 things that were not available because they don't have all the ingredients for them but also just think of these new vehicles you're buying right now that have been pieced together what kind of issues are they going to have in a year two years three years from now and that's not good you know when your vehicle's been pieced together and for one you can't find the things to fix it because who knows how long this is going to last but uh for two what the heck did they piece the thing together with i mean they're talking about taking chips out of hd radios to finish off starting vehicles just to start them i don't know